If you fabricate a hate crime against yourself, if you accuse any white person who wears a Make America Great Again hat of being racist, if you pay your friends to put a noose around your neck and pour bleach on you while you eat a Subway sandwich at 2 a.m. in downtown Chicago, if you pay these same friends to yell, this is mega country, while they pretend to attack you, but not your face because that's how you make your money, if you tell police a despicable lie 16 times and file false police reports, if you were willing to let two innocent white men potentially go to federal prison for a crime they didn't commit because of your false allegations that you were attacked by two white men, even though you weren't, if you waste police resources by forcing police to spend valuable time and money tracking down the truth to expose your lies, all the while people are being murdered in Chicago every day, if you do all of this in an effort to boost your paycheck because you think $60,000 per episode on Empire is not enough to satisfy your greed, you should go to jail, period. You thought white privilege was a thing? This is rich elitist Democrat privilege. Do you think for one minute, if this situation were reversed, if a white Republican man in Chicago accused two black men of committing a hate crime against him, and it was later found out that the white man faked the hate crime, do you think that Republican would be let off with community service already served and 16 felony charges dropped? Not a chance. If there's evidence that exonerates Jesse Smollett and contradicts the evidence that proves he did fabricate this hate crime against himself, show us, please. If not, and I highly doubt we have proof that contradicts the sworn testimony of the two brothers, the check Jesse wrote to pay them to attack him, the camera footage of Jesse, the phone records, bank records, and video evidence of the brothers buying the attack gear, including the red hats, then the next time the left says anything about white privilege, just laugh and say two words, Jussie Smollett. Rich, elitist, democratic privilege, double standards under the law, and a miscarriage of justice. And that's my final point.